Hello, fellow pandemic sufferers. I still have a job. About ten hours a week. At a hotel. I'm the most paranoid person here. Paranoid meaning protected. I made this one today out of a Tibetan prayer flag, which, by the way, happens to be the perfect size for these if you look up the template online. Anyway, so I came to work and I realized we only had one arrival today. So I'm here for like six hours and I'm planning on seeing like one other person, which is great. So in the meantime, I just make everything as sterile as possible. Well, since everything has already been cleaned, it occurred to me, I bet this is something that doesn't occur to most people, although everybody knows money is really dirty, but I bet no one's cleaned our money drawer or any of the money in it ever. So I came up with a system since I already did this last week. Where do I reverse this? How do I reverse this? I'm so not good at this crap. Okay, if you'll see here, I made a bleach solution for any surfaces and pens or whatnot when we were going through a shortage of wipes. That way, nobody was overusing wipes and they could actually use what it was originally intended for, since it's just full of like bleach water. That way I can dip pens in it after people are using them. Example A, I've been using this. If I have somebody sign, doop, ta -da, sterilized. Put it down on one of our towels. Now it's all clean. So, next step, see what protections I'm taking? I decided to go ahead and clean all of our change because change is freaking dirty. So currently, I have two cups going right now. I have one here that's empty, and one that has my bleach solution in it, and all of the quarters in it. I took a plastic bag that we had and poked some holes in the bottom. So I put that in there first, and then poured the bleach solution in. And then they've been sitting in there for a little while. So I'm just going to slowly pull them out and let it drain all of the bleach solution out. Ta -da! I don't have to recount it or anything. Go ahead and I can just like let it sit over here for a second and finish bleaching. I finish like dripping out a little bit. And then I will dump it onto this towel here. Dry it off and I can put it back into the till. I've already cleaned the rest of the change. Yes, because that's what smart people do. Just to reduce this much more risk of contamination on anything that you touch or someone else who might be responsible touches. Because last I saw today, Going into Carbondale, it straight up says on the signs, do not go anywhere if you do not have to. And I live in a really small town, and our city market parking lot was packed. Like, packed. And people were driving everywhere. It was almost like it was like Black Friday still. And there was not a single person that I saw walking around or riding a bike or in a car that was wearing a mask, like myself, or gloves. Not even in the grocery store was anyone wearing a mask or gloves, only like a couple of different customers, mostly kids still running around doing stuff. People are not being super responsible about this. So if you want something done right, do it yourself. Protect yourself and the people around you. So that's what I'm doing. So anyways, now that my quarters are all clean. I'm going to take like a second. Can I say that I'm out here? And I'll let them dry off a little bit, and then I'll put them back in the drawer, and they will be clean. At least until someone else touches them. We do what we can.